Okay, we should be live. Probably best if one of you does check my channel, just to be certain. Uh, but yeah, welcome back everybody to uh, Grace and GDL with Mardek. It's been a long time since we last played this game. Oh, yes, yeah. playing Grace and GDL with guest star Mardek. Oh, yeah, fair point. Kobe's here too. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it has been a long time. Apologies for that, it's been a bit difficult to get around to streaming, but uh, we're back here and hopefully we'll be able to do Mardek a little bit more frequently from now on. We'll see. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. Grayson's probably going to have to remind me a little bit of what we're doing, though, honestly. Hey, I just got done checking the uh, stream and seems good. Indeed. Okay, so we're in this dark temple place. If I recall correctly, uh... Like, I don't remember entirely exactly why we came down here. I, I sort of remember we visited some lizard people after some temple. Like, the temple didn't like the lizard people, and they wanted rid of them or something, and then after we sort of kicked the lizard people out of, like, this temple, we went down into the depths, where and we found the lizard people's village, and then they told us, like, something weird was going on down below, so we descended through these caves and found this strange, dark temple place. I don't really remember if there was any more context to it than that. I know we killed some weird shadow man as well, but, uh, that's about all I remember. There. Fortunately, I played through this, uh, part of this game twice. Ah, that is convenient. So, essentially the, uh, chapter started with you on another regular old mission. You're going to help out these priest guys worshipping, like, the sun god of this, uh, universe. Hmm. And they have a monster infestation problem and figure that the morning stone must have gotten messed up, so they gave you a replacement one and sent you down to go replace it. And so you go down and do that, you meet like the lizard people as you mentioned, and then there's like, you know, you like find out that the lizard people are not responsible at all, even though it seemed like they were evil at first because they are trying to attack you, but it was self-defense turns out. You come down to Lizard Village, you find out about, like, this temple, I think. And I don't remember every single detail, but essentially you get, like, the uh, chief guy of the village to join you on your quest, and he's in your party right now. Fair. You found this weird, mysterious place, and then you went through it on the other side. Is this dark temple. Fair. Apparently enter is to pull up my character sheet and in inventory. And yeah, apparently I have four people in my party, including uh, the um, the lizard man person we talked about. Interesting. Yep. And Charla and Donovan, who you might remember from chapter two. Yep. Or just in general from this chapter as well, I do vaguely recall them existing. I do yeah. not... One thing I should warn people of is that it's been... A very long time since we played this game, so I do not remember all of the voices I did perfectly. There are probably some that are going to be very off. <laughs> Got a lot of cases I don't even remember who voiced who. I do vaguely remember some of that, but it's possible we might end up swapping voice actors for a few of these. <laughs> and what's even scarier is the fact that this appears to be very much a labyrinth dungeon which is the kind of thing where having some memory of where you've been before is generally a good thing, and the fact that I don't have any memory of where I've been in this place before is probably going to lead to us covering some ground twice. Oh well. Yeah, you could start by checking out the map, which you can find in the pause menu. That's a good point. I forgot about the map. Okay, right, so we're like the blue crystal thing, right? Uh, no, that's the save point directly north of you. Ah, okay, so I'm the white, white dot. Ah, fair, fair. Okay, yeah, but so... of course, the blue dots are uh, doors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a weird, like, diagonal line of, like, unrevealed area. Ignore mm -hmm. that. That seems to be a glitch, and I've encountered it many times in my playthrough. So I've been over that way? I have no idea. You might have been. You might not have been. Yeah, we I... can't rely on that, because weird glitch thing. Can I rely that I've been into the top left and top right rooms, at least? I don't actually know. Well, okay, then. You've been to one of the rooms in this place because you spent some you remember fighting the uh, shadow guy. Yep. Well, we'll try the bottom left. you'll remember, left. it's called the molester. Oh, right, yeah, good old molester. The, uh, the cousin of, uh, the, um, 
guy from uh, Hat Time. Indeed. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try going to the left here, or the bottom left, since that's the one I know for a fact I have not been to, since it certainly looks like I have not been. What's this thing? Miasmal Chalice. Hey, good night, night, Kobe. Have a good night. Good night, night. Well, just me and Grayson now. When you defeat monsters in this temple, their dark essence is added to this chalice, filling it. Fill it with 100 essences, and you can take it as your own. The chalice is 40% full. You cannot take it yet. Fair. Eh. And we got an enemy battle, and not one I could skip. Okay, so we got four of these things called monochromes. And they are Dark Element, which means if I have the ability to hit them with Light Element, I should do that. So Also, since it's been a while, a small reminder that you can click on things in the battle to uh, see what they are. Ah, uh, fair. So it looks like they're both weak to Light and Fire. And considering the fact that I know that Donovan is Fire Element, I should definitely focus on hitting them with Donovan as much as possible. Sharla here seems to be Air Element, which... Uh, yeah, they don't really have anything one way or the other with that. I guess for the sake of giving her something to do, I can at least use the Aromancy. Maybe it'll do enough damage to finish them off. Glad you remember the targeting thing, because I honestly would have forgotten to mention that. Fair. If that was bad. Okay, Mardek is Mardek. Let's see, who am I like most likely to be able to finish off here? I feel like this monochrome with the 66 health almost certainly I can kill, and that makes it so that AoE attacks are more likely to finish off the rest. Really? Oh well, I guess my point about AoE attacks still holds. Hey, I do not remember what Slank does. Dragon attack. Fire breath. Freeze fire like a dragon at an enemy, causing fire elemental magical damage. He has a lot of mana, and this is only worth 8, so yeah, I suppose I could certainly do that. Who would I want to finish off since it seems like I cannot do this as multi-target? I guess we'll just go for the highest health one again. Okay, again, Charlotte. A lot of damage. Lightning bolt. That one. Indeed, that went fairly well. Well, for my first fight back into it, that didn't go so bad. Granted, those guys do not look like they were meant to be scary. Oh, for fuck's sake, we have one of these. Well, I guess everybody get ready for me to be going back and forth between the game and the map a lot. Okay, so this is a room, and here's a hall. This is in fact a room. I know! I guess mostly I just wanted to get some sense of as to whether or not there was another exit off the side of said room. Okay, so there's some way to go to the left here. The wall meets up with it there. Ah, and the room stops here, so I'm forced to go left across this path. I just remembered about what that means at the last possible second. Okay, so we have dark elemental creatures. So let's see, these creatures are very resistant to dark, but they are very weak to light. It looks like the rest of these elements, they are mostly, you know, a little bit resistant to, but not massively so. So it's probably still worth trying to hit them. Uh, spirit doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what the purple stuff that they're weak to towards the end is. Um, I have no idea what the thing in that it says 80 is. I'm guessing that's physical damage? Uh, yeah, the one that says 80 is physical damage. Okay, so certainly it would be better to hit them with any of the magics that they're resistant to before physical damage, at least. Okay. And we'll just roll with it. Working fairly well so far. Oh, Jesus, that was quite a bit of damage. I say, as someone else takes even more. Hey, Marduk, this is probably a good place for you to use your hill. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I canceled out of the menus and then put well. the hit correctly. Well, that's one also, now. Also, I figure I might as well remind you that uh, when you do use like the group attack targeting thing. It does significantly reduce, like, damage or healing that you do. Yeah. 
But we do have groups of enemies, so at the moment it's probably preferable to damage them all as much as possible, unless there's one specific enemy I want down faster. Let's see. Um, yeah, I figured I'd remind you in case you didn't remember. It has been a while. It so really has. Fair. How do I use, like, Marduk's healing ability again outside of combat? Just uh, like you go to skills. Uh, there yeah. you go. I think in this case it's way more efficient to use it multiple times. Probably true, honestly. That was a dumb decision. Okay, so the I bottom... think, like, it costs twice as much as a single target one and does, like, either half as much healing or, like, a quarter as much healing. I don't remember which. Okay, so the room gave way above me to another path. Let's see if this keeps going to the left, though. Okay, to the left, it hits a wall, but there is a way down and there's a way up. Let's see if the map is very useful at this moment. Straight down seems to hit the square uh, one, whereas uh, up just is bringing me towards a different part of the dungeon. Quick question for you, Grayson. This is something that I would have learned back when I was playing the game before, so I don't have an issue asking you about this. Um, there's the square one and the circle one with the line. Which of those two is the key, and which one of those is the thing it unlocks? I believe the square one is the door. Okay, then I don't really need to bother going that way just yet. Up would be the better direction for exploration purposes for right this moment. Okay. Up we go. Oh wow, this is just one file wide. Okay, so we got another room of some sort. To the left there's a pit, to the right there's just more wall. Up I hit a wall, and so there's just this catwalk across the gap. Okay, up again, just a wall, left is a wall, down goes to a new hall. And we're now over on the far left side of the room. This does not appear to actually be that big of an area, considering the fact that I was able to move that far of a distance in the X direction. Okay, we got another room. There's banners all around the walls, and directly below me there's a pit. To the left there's a way to go. To the right there's a way to go. It looks like left is probably the more useful direction for right this second. Ah, darn it. I forgot about that. Is it the... Is it the accept or decline button to skip that? I think it's the... Ah, fair enough. Okay. Let's see. We have eye stalks. They're dark element. They are weak to both light and to fire. They are negligible to air, so... Seems I'm fine to do what I want here. Let's see. What? Who has what turn? How do I see the turn order again? Uh, cancel your current. Um, or just attack on it. That works too. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. It's at the top. Okay, so I have until the end of our procession to do that. I'm still getting used to the controls again. Unfortunately, you're not in a super threatening area. Yeah, thankfully. Like, this was a battle I could have theoretically skipped, even, if I remembered the button for it. Also, I just saw in the stream chat, Kobe said, Whoa, and then, looking good, Peter. I see. Is he just watching, but not in our uh, Discord call? No, I think that's when, uh, like, you're asking if the uh, stream looked alright. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay, this looks like a chest. And in fact, it is. Talisman of Shumbra, an ancient artifact. It's a holy talisman formed personally by the de deity Shumbra, the Dark God, when he made the Dark Temple. Very valuable, certainly. Presumably, it's a blood item as well. Okay, right, so this is a room that looks like it could be sneaky. Like, it's a very small 3x3 room, and this is off on its own. So I'm going to check the walls here and see if there's any secret paths. No, there's not. I figured it was worth a shot. I guess it could still be off the hall, though. Nope. Okay. Can't skip that one. I don't want to miss anything, and that room felt a little suspicious, but I suppose it was not. I, I should probably check real quick what the Onyx is. I know that the Monochrome could be fine, but the on does the Onyx have any specifics? There does not appear to be much point in hitting it with literally anything if it's not light or physical. Everything else is mostly just going to bounce off. But still the same, I might as well use the lightning bolt here on the group target, since otherwise I can't hit both monochromes. 
Similarly, Donovan might as well burn everything, too. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Well, thankfully, Slank has a lot of health, so that's not really all that concerning, honestly. So, based on the situation that we're in, given the fact that I know the other characters can take care of the monochromes, I probably should use the fact that Marduk's really good at physical to hit the Onyx. Same with Slank, really. There we go. Eh, not bad. Yep, that battle went pretty well, I would dare say. Okay, so back up to the crossroads room. Ooh, this is actually another... Nope, I figured down might actually be a secret path, but it was in fact not. Okay, let's see what's down here. Managed to remember the button in time. Excellent. Alright. Yep. You know, I feel like dead right here could be something. No, it is not. Okay, another weird little room. Man, I do hate the fucking dark trope in uh, JRPGs. It is quite frustrating. Let's see. Okay, these things... Uh, the what trope? The trope of dark rooms where you can't see anything. Ah, uh, understandable. Definitely seems like these guys would probably be best just to go with a physical attack. Was there resistance to fire? Same as air, there is really no point. Uh, can Donovan even really fucking do anything with his attack? I guess we'll find out. Apparently he can, and it even poisons, so probably not a bad thing to use, honestly. Hey, you always can uh, examine your equipment to see what it does if you need a refresher. Fair. That is a weak-ass poison effect, though, but I suppose if it were against a boss, it would add up over time. But the main point is, I killed the pages, so we are in good shape. Oh, goodness, this room is just wide enough that I cannot see both walls at the same time. So we're gonna have to sort of bounce back and forth as we go down. That's interesting, there's a path off here. So it looks like up is towards the key, which we do need, but to the right is probably going to that yellow chest, so I will go to the yellow chest. Okay, what? Oh, it's now down. It's a weird way to do that chest. Black hat. It's a stylish black hat that protects against the dark element somewhat. Well, that certainly seems useful in a dungeon like this, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't remember what all dark element creatures can necessarily do, so I feel like instead it might be better just to give it to the weakest character, which is probably either Donovan or Sharla. I'll go with Sharla and see about that. Let's see, I should be able to compare stuff, if I recall correctly. So let's see, this is a helmet that is one armor, and her current helmet is also one armor, but it gives a magic defense as well. But this gives the property of resist dark 50%, whereas the thing she currently has equipped also gives plus 15 MP. That's actually quite useful. Slank has just a kettle hat. It doesn't do anything particularly amazing. Just two defense. Donovan has something actually relatively helpful, and good god Marduk has something pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I still think it probably is in my best interest to give this to Charlotte for right this minute. We'll think about possibly replacing that later if it doesn't seem like it's being particularly helpful. As far as the map goes, we are now here. We need to head back to the last crossroads and go up. Seems we've also got all the treasure on this floor, so that's helpful too. Okay. Pretty big room here. Uh, you know, I bet I know what that is. That's another one of these weird black monsters. Alright, well, before we do anything with him, then, I should probably heal a bit. 
Also, you shouldn't be so rude. Sinatra has a name. Indeed. Sinatra does have a name. Let's see, we will kill a little bit here. Is everyone's mana relatively okay? Oh, well, I guess we're, um, we're not going to ever find out. Nehehe, <laughs> children, you do not belong here. We're not children. Okay, so he gets a move almost immediately. Like, all I have is a tiny bit of time to prepare for this with Sharla. Let's see what his element is. He is dark, and he's weak to light, and he really doesn't have much else going for him in that regard. Like, anything else I could hit him with would just be average, so... Okay. Let's go ahead and start off then with... Ah, I forgot that uh, she has a, a healing ability as well. That's worth knowing. Fully absorb the targets from the air element. The stats wears off after absorbing one attack. Well, he's not air element, so that's not going to help me. Removes peril paralysis status effect. Seems like I might as well just honestly hit him with a fucking lightning bolt. I may have messed with that. Okay. I like how because Sharla has the hat, she just took no damage to that whatsoever. Oh, good luck, you're right. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. We'll go ahead and hit the molester with fire magic. And then Marduk. Let's see, so Marduk can kill, he can shield, he can do a magic shield, and he can do a morality block. Gives the targets the null light and null dark status effects, protecting from a single light and a single dark attack. Hmm. That seems useful, but at the same time, I think this thing mostly only engages in dark attacks, so is it really going to make much of a difference if I block a single one? That feels like it's certainly not mo making good use of my turn order. But I'm assuming all of its attacks are probably magic-based, so it probably wouldn't hurt to give someone a magic shield, and Donovan certainly seems like he's the most susceptible to this at the moment. Okay, Slank. Hang on, how many turns do we have left? We have one for Slank and one for Sharla. Hmm. I'll just try having Slank do an attack with his axe and see what that does. Quite a bit of damage, honestly. And Sharla, you probably should just use a better potion on Donovan so he doesn't get himself killed. Well, that was a lot of damage that just happened. But it definitely seems like the magic shield helped Donovan significantly, so that's a good sign. Okay, um, Slink is blind. I'll have him t deal with that himself. Donovan should... What should Donovan do, honestly? I'm trying to think if it's a good idea here to try and go on the offensive with the current setup. I feel like that's being a bit risky. Well, I am going to have Marduk use uh, healing on everybody. Oh, wait, actually, sorry. Charlotte healing on everybody. I think that perhaps it won't be enough, so I will give Marduk a better potion. Better safe than sorry. Marduk, give a magic shield. Wait, can I do this on everyone? No, I cannot. From the looks of things, Marduk probably should just use this on himself. Okay, Slank is going to get rid of his blindness here. Liquid Light, I believe. Yes. And then Sharla is going to use Healing Wind on everybody. Hopefully that's enough. It was, but Slink definitely needs that magic shield next. What status effect does Donovan have at the moment? That weird purple thing. Do you remember, Grayson? Not off the top of my head. Okay. So let's see. With the current setup, I'm going to have, uh, uh, again, Sharla use Healing Wind on everybody. Slink probably can use a bit extra healing on top of that. And then we have... Um, then we have, of course, Marduk shielding someone else. I think my best bet here is to have Donovan use the better potion on Slink. Marduk do the magic shield on Slink. Slink actually just attack the thing, since he does so much damage to it. And then Sharla can heal. That should about get us through the setup phase for the fight. We should be good to wail on for now. 
yep, that damage was a lot more negligible. Okay. So I still need to do a bit more healing. Marduk could probably use a little bit extra health. I'll let Marduk just heal himself in that regard, and I might have Sharla do the healing wind again. For now, Donovan can... Uh, oh, the effect he has is some form of silence. Alright, that's what that does. Let's see. Zombification, liquid sound, silence is drunk. Presumably that's what this is, so I'm going to try that on him. That was not what that was. No, it's a uh, curse. <laughs> Would have been helpful if you'd said something, but that's fine. Well, it did say curse when he had that effect. Fair. I honestly wasn't paying enough attention to know that what you were picking was wrong to begin with. Fair. So, there'll be a lot of status effects that uh, hmm. might not remember what it is immediately. Yep. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, it seems like Charlotte does not have enough mana for this, so I'm just going to trust that no one ends up getting hit so hard that this matters, and have her use an ether on herself. That may be a mistake, but we'll see. Now that ended up being fine. We're still alive. Okay, so Charlotte again can use the healing thing. Someone should probably give Slink a heal. I'll let Marduk do that. In the meantime, uh... I guess Donovan now needs to figure out how to get rid of the fucking curse. Probably holy water? Nope, because that's zombification. Balloon juice is numbness. Really cold water is water type damage. Remedy? Not sure. All status effects. Mugwort juice. Killing properties. Noxious bomb. Do I have anything that would get rid of his curse, besides the remedy? Huh. I don't think I uh, do. Have you looked at all the descriptions? Have I looked at all the descriptions, or did I look at all the descriptions? Well, Is there a difference you... between have you looked at them, or did you look at them? Uh, oh, sorry. Have or just I did? Are you making a statement that I've looked at all of them, or are you asking the question if I've looked at I'm all asking. of them? I'm asking. I think so? There. Sorry, I couldn't pay better attention. I'm looking at uh, something else at the moment. Ah, fair. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Like a description for holy water, maybe? The holy water is... Oh, oh there you go. Curses and zombies. I'm blind. So you didn't read it. <laughs> Not thoroughly. Okay, so Marta, kill yourself. And again, Slent can get an attack off on this guy, or he would have if he didn't miss. Okay, that fixes that. Apparently he can do physical damage too. Brilliant. Let's see. I guess I have a Phoenix Down I could use. Hey, right, Marduk, I guess reestablish the magic shield since he died. And we'll try to attack again. Now he's just dodging everything. Fucking hell. Let's try a lightning bolt. Why is he just suddenly doing physical attacks? Uh, click on his name thing. Less that would do it. What would do what? He's out of mana. Oh. That would make sense. Okay. So, honestly, the magic shield is not even all that terribly helpful at this point. Mostly, I just have to make sure that all of the characters are above 300 health, since it does almost that much damage. Alright. Well, I guess for right this moment, I may as well hit him with a flame. Marduk, give up. Okay. Marduk, attack. Slink can also get an attack off, and Sharla can do a healing wind on Slink to get him above that threshold. Okay, Donovan Flame. Probably be better just to use the stick at that point and get this poison status effect, honestly. Hey. And use 
lightning bolt. This bastard off. Uh, I probably should have verified that my health wow. was good, but I got very lucky nonetheless. We honestly might be able to just finish this bastard off, though. Yep, there we go. Feels uh, improbable that not even would survive at one health. Do you have, like, a skill on him that does that, then? I can take a look once this guy radiates himself to death. Alright, let's see. Uh, inventory. It's in, it would be in skills. Oh, skills. I assumed it would be an item effect, but fair. Well, it's probably something your equipment gives you, but it'll be listed here. Makes the target erupt in flames. Damage plus 10%. Obviously not. Soul Strike's not even equipped. Key poison. No. Damage minus 10%. Decreases inflicted physical damage by 10%. Wait, is, I mean, that, that wouldn't necessarily make it happen, though. Uh, M fire, no. M damage minus 10%. Magical damage by 10%. He didn't do magical damage, so it wouldn't be these. Fire. And strength plus one. No, none of his stuff specifically is going to make that happen. There's certainly things that would weaken the thing's attacks, but nothing that would necessarily make it so that it instead of exactly one, which is kind of curious, huh. honestly. Wait, did you just unequip that? Did I just unequip something? Apparently I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Uh, right, I probably should heal as well, since we are kind of suffering a little bit here. Uh, but Marduk's not exactly in great shape. That'd be nice. Marduk's not in great shape, so this is going to have to be Charla to do that. Mm. Probably more effective just to do this individually, like you said earlier. Maybe it's a good idea to check to see if you've got, you know, stuff like the skills and whatnot equipped on everybody. Okay, sure, we could do that. I seem to have enough points here, I could throw something else onto Sharla. M Dark 50%, increase dark resistance by 50%. Spell resist has a 30% chance of taking no damage at all from spells. Considering she already has the hat, this first one seems kind of redundant, so we'll go with the spell resist. Or we would if I had enough. Apparently I don't have enough for either. It'd be nice if I could add, wouldn't it? Indeed. Um, and so that seems to be everything. Let's look at Donovan. Oh, we were just looking at Donovan, actually. Marduk. So Marduk definitely has some extra points here. Wait, do I even need to have these equipped, though, if they're mastered? Uh, you do. Master just means you don't need to be wearing the item that gives you access to it. Ah, uh, fair. Immunity zombification. The fact that you have double gold equipped implies that uh, you want to equip everything else to be able to learn that skill. Oh, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Okay. I'll trust my previous self in that. And I have 40. And of course, you're welcome to change your mind, but, you know, yep. gold is helpful. It is, and I probably actually would prefer that. Right. There. And let's check out Spike I like here. the crown. Seems all is well here. I right. unequip his dragon's blood. <laughs> yep, just take it out. He, he doesn't need his blood. <laughs> okay, so this was a shortcut to the room. This is back towards the start of it, so we can go back over here. Alright, we got some things. We got a punk monster and two ice stocks. The ice stocks are not threatening. What's the punk monster do again? Okay, so air is definitely effective against it. And, or, well, not effective, but it's just not effective or ineffective. Fire doesn't seem to be a high enough resistance I should care either. Really, this thing doesn't appear to be much of a concern, period. Okay, so now we got Donovan. And then we can just have Marduk finish stuff off. Hmm. So, one way or the other, the punk monster is probably going to get a turn here. I'm probably better off just trying to get the sto ice stocks out of the way before they get their next one. What was the so funny there? The, uh... Over 900 damage crit. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's insane. Good old crit. Don't you love it? Indeed. Whoa, Donovan just did over 200 damage with a physical attack. That's insane. Big creepy eye, eh? That feels like an item that's gonna have a fun, uh, a fun description. 
let's see. A large, squishy eyeball from an eye stock monster. It seems to be constantly watching you. Eh, that was kind of boring, actually. I was expecting something far more entertaining. There. I'm looking at some stuff on the uh, Marduk wiki on the side, and I love how, for whatever reason, it's just a wiki for all of that developer's games. Hmm. It's like well, you search uh, heal, and it's like, oh, do you mean uh, heal from Marduk, or do you mean the heal tome from Deliverance? It's like, ah, oh, yes, I know what game that is. I've totally played that before. Sarcasm or literal? Sarcasm. Fair. <gasps> I mean, I can't. At some point, I may need to check out uh, developers' other games, but Indeed. I haven't so far. Still, I'm looking forward to their new game, though. Nice. Well, I will be looking forward to it, too. It seems like they're a good developer. Yeah, and uh, the new game they've been showing off development progress on seems very similar to Marta. Fair. First uh, RPG I think they've made since Marta. Hmm. Well, I guess there was that one mobile game, but besides that. Fair. Interesting. I think it was yeah. a mobile game. I have there was some weird short-lived thing that I remember in the middle. Makes sense. All right, we got some of these bastards. Okay, we'll use a lightning bolt. And a flame. Nice having the mana back after having touched the safe crystal, for sure. I don't even think the fence takes zero damage from that. It's insane, really. Like, that hat is so useful in this stupid dungeon. Let's see, who do I want to finish off first? I guess we'll just get rid of the monochrome quickly. Yeah, I had wondered why you weren't paying attention earlier. Now I know, because you're perusing the Marduk wiki. Oh yeah, I remember that there was a uh, page that I was constantly referencing for uh, permanently missable things. Hmm. Need to keep track of that to make sure uh, you don't miss something important. Let's see, honestly. enough. Screen. A ring set with an onyx stone channels the power of darkness, protecting its ring wearer from both the dark element and the blindness status effect. Oh wow, so I can make another character presumably fairly immune to it as well. Uh, sure, we'll we'll put that on to Donovan since uh, Donovan is also fairly weak in that regard. Let's see. If there's three ways. What do each of these items do? I don't want to go swapping things that might end up being valuable later. Actually, who has yeah, for these, you also want to check the skills so long to make sure it's not something you have equipped and are trying to learn. Yeah. Honestly, it might also, be... Also, remember that uh, it's only showing the uh, mastery progress of the character that you have selected. So in this case, Donovan. Oh. Even though it's equipped to the uh, Eta Lizard guy, mm -hmm. when you have Rover, it just shows it for Donovan at the moment. Indeed. And yeah, hopefully uh, it won't be too long before we do more of this, so I... Don't have to give so many reminders next time. Indeed, I appreciate that. I just that. want to make sure you're caught up to speed with uh, what you almost certainly knew last time, really. Indeed. Let's see, so I think that this is something I want to give to Slank, a replacement of his gauntlet. This gauntlet's not bad, but this ring has higher magic defense, and it also does the dark and the blindness, and frankly, comparatively to everybody else's equipment, his it was the worst. So that should work well. Let's go back what up to skill his skills, do. since that comes with a new one. What was that? Oh, oh, was... I was asking what the skill did, but it's the uh, blindness thing that I was talking about. Ah, neat. But now I have half my party more eff eff effective against blindness, which is good. So let's see. Presumably against I've not blindness. been... What was that? Against blindness? No, against curse, sorry. Or <laughs> darkness, rather. Fuck it. Darkness. There you go. Got there in the end. Yep, what's the chalice say? 60%. Okay, so with that in mind, presumably since there's five routes off this thing, what that tells me is that down is also a route, and then one of the remaining three I started with I haven't explored, which very well may be the one that was streak. Let's try the streak room here real quick. And I should be able to tell just by looking at what the... Ah, I do not have all of the loot from this room, so if nothing else, exploring this to get the loot is probably good, but chances are this is one of the rooms I need to be in. True. Oddly enough, it does seem like you've explored it, Doc, then. Maybe I ran out of time last time and just had to rush to get off for the night. I don't know. Oh yeah, that, that is a good point. 
probably just want to save and pick it up another time. Yep. So there's right and there's down. Hmm. Let's try down. We're nowhere near any of the chests, so I probably don't need to be too conscious of secrets. Ah, but I did find one of the chests I found last time. Or should I say the chest I found last time? One of four. Indeed. Oh, well, at least I now know that's not the way to go. So there's now an up and a down. I feel like up's probably less likely to lead me straight to where I'm going. The yellow chest is right below me. Let's just see real quick if there's a secret there. Nope. Different way to get at the room entirely. Okay, we're over here now. I can't skip this one. Got a whole bunch of monochromes. Come back. I know how to deal with those. But, uh, earlier I was going to say it's uh, funny that the guide for, like, permanent invisible stuff mm -hmm. also includes stuff that's completely useless. Oh? It's like, ah oh, yes, if you don't unequip the uh, tunics that uh, Child Marduk and Child Dugan are wearing in Chapter 1, they disappear forever. Ooh. Yeah, that's so terrible. I'm so scared about losing that. Hmm. Honestly, like, I probably should just not waste the mana and single target these since I still have two character attacks left. And honestly, Donovan's stick is powerful enough, I'd probably just finish it. Never mind. <laughs> That was a bad gamble. There we go. Oh well, not really major loss here. But I do want to be somewhat mindful of the mana since uh, there's only so many eithers. Ah, this wall looks suspicious. And so it is. I don't know, I think you can trust the wall. The wall is your friend. Wall, then. Oh, that was bad. Oh, well. Did he do all that damage to Marduk? Yeah, he did 300 damage to Marduk. Or it did, rather. I suppose it's not particularly gendered. Let's see, we're gonna have Marduk do a hill on himself. Maybe two. Okay, the map. This is not going where I thought it was going. Is there something else up this way? It looks like there's a path here. This looks like it could lead to the top chest. Wait, am I just right back where I started? What the fuck? Okay, we're gonna slowly work our way around this chest's exterior and see if I can find where exactly I'm supposed to enter the room from. Is there supposed to be a chest up there, and I'm not seeing how the fuck to get to it. Probably somewhere here in the abyss, I would imagine. Ah, there we go. Sting stick. A spear with a venomous wasp stinger stuck on the end. It has a chance of poisoning creatures that it strikes. Alright, cool, but who would it's use a, that? I think that's what Donovan has. Oh, interesting. Maybe I'll give that to Charla as well. I don't remember what Charla's weapon does, but I imagine that it's not all that amazing. These are air-based things anyway that she cannot learn. Remember, you've got Donovan selected. Oh. You're right. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. I don't entirely get it. Cannot learn the remove numbness. I feel like I should probably keep trying to learn those things with Charlotte, though, honestly. Mm. But this is good, too. This attack 30 versus attack 28. Ah, fuck it. I do like the poison effect. We'll just roll with that. I can hold on to yeah, the other you can always re the old thing later. Yep. Okay. So we got that. It looks like there's still another chest towards the top of the room somewhere that we're missing. And something below. Hmm. I'm gonna backtrack up here and try walking to the left in this room. 
I think this is where this started. Ah, oh, goddammit. Unskippable. Nothing I can do about it. Hmm. How much damage would just a single lightning bolt by itself not shared amongst all of these do? Oh, well, let's experiment. Not enough to be worth it. So I guess at this point I might as well uh, try to finish off the one that uh, I already damaged. So at least I only have to deal with three attacks. Still, that was a bad use of mana. I like that zero damage because it was a dark attack. Oh, Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Don't think that Donovan would do enough damage to kill that one monochrome just from a straight-up flame, but at the same time, on the off chance that it does, it'd be one less, and I still should be able to kill them both before the next time they get a turn anyway, so might as well try. Ah, I'm surprised. I guess sometimes it's worth trying stuff to see what happens. Old bone. Okay, I feel like this probably is the way to find that other chest. Now it's directly below me. Honestly, I figured when I was going towards the chest earlier that I did find that this was the one I was going to bump into, but it wasn't. Now let's try surrounding the whole area and seeing if we can find the damn thing. Okay, damn it. Mandatory battle. Yeah. Oh well, if I keep doing this, am I gonna get so high in level I'll just be able to skip them all anyway, so whatever. Oh, probably shouldn't have hit that with that. This is interesting, the uh, so-called completionist guy thing. Through that, I'm learning a lot about the uh, differences between the browser and the Steam version of this game. Mm -hmm. Because I did comment on how the uh, Steam version changed some things, so some ridiculously hard to get stuff is easier to get. Like I mentioned, there was that uh, sword that got dropped in uh, Chapter 2. That only had like a percent chance to drop in the browser version that was guaranteed in Steam. Interesting. From the enemy that does not ever respawn and has only fought once. Well, I'm glad they made it 100%. That's much better. Yeah, could you imagine having the save scum to get it reliably? Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of grinding on things that do respawn, but I really hate it if it's literally just there's only one and you have to keep reloading. There's not even any way of knowing such a thing would exist necessarily unless you're you know, looking at the wiki to begin with. Indeed, let me find the uh, percent chance for that drop, just to do a frame of reference. Indeed. Huh. So, it definitely would appear... Maybe there's another way out of this room? How the fuck do I get there? I am genuinely confused by this. Maybe I can keep going up here? Maybe I can go to the left and then up. Well, it's not like I'm doing anything all that exciting. You may as well look. Oh, I was. It just wasn't on the page for the item itself, but it is on the page for the launch trip enemy. Ah. It uh, was a 50% chance in the original. So if you don't know about the item beforehand, 50-50 chance you just won't know the item exists. Yeah, it's bullshit. Good. I'm so glad that that was uh, fixed. Yeah, definitely. Because I know the uh, creator of this game was all like, not wanting to change too much, wanting to make it like, the same game that everybody remembers. Mm -hmm. But the changes that were made were 100% agreeable, like all of these are good changes. Yeah, exactly. I am not a fan, I'm not a, I don't have a problem with a remaster deciding to adjust things that were problematic to begin with. Yeah, there's a lot of smaller ones too, like uh, a lot of things that are like in the browser version, only this many of this item exist. The Steam version adds one more. Oh, 
It's like, oh, great. Hmm. Let's see. So I suppose it's here. Now, what were you saying? I, was saying, I suppose it's not like a huge spoiler if I name all the items. Like, one of them is like one of those gems that you like equip to like learn skills on the characters and whatnot. Yeah. That makes I think sense. one of them, you even have equipped them onto your characters. Hmm. Like, oh no, there's only three in the entire game, but the Steam version adds like one more. Interesting. That way you can have your full party with it if you want. Golden Conk, a large, iridescently golden shell from some kind of water creature, probably. They sell for a high price. Do they do anything else, though? Is it, or is it literally just a bag of money? Let's see. Water elemental, which I guess makes sense for a conch shell, but uh, it doesn't seem like it necessarily comes with any stats, attributes, skills, or anything of that nature, so I guess it really is just a thing you sell. I don't know why every single item has an element. Probably just some lore thing. Yep. So the chest at the top of the room is definitely kind of confusing as to how the fuck I'm supposed to get there, but I suppose probably it's closer to the start of the room as to where that would be, so I should finish up stuff at the bottom of the room before worrying about that. But I will quickly check and see if there's any other ways to leave this room than the one I came in, because if there were, then that would be believable as the way to get up there, perhaps. But there weren't, so... I definitely don't like how well this fucking room is hiding stuff. It's not like, you know, it's a easy to see room with the darkness effect, so all the secret stuff is made all work to get. Like, because yep. of the map system, it's not like, oh, it's some secret that some X number of players will find and nobody else will know there. I know it's there. I just have to sit there and tediously check through the whole fucking map to find how to get to the spot. back down here. I think I want to go left at this point. Potentially. Now, this is already lit anyway, so it's not terribly helpful. My past self must have lit it beforehand. Oh, wait. I, what, wait where the fuck am I going exactly? Ah, this way. Gotten pretty good already at skipping the battles that are blue. Which is nice, because I don't really want to do the blue battles. Okay, I think this is where I entered this area from. I probably want to go up. I can't skip that one. <laughs> Wait, I've been able to skip some of these. What? I, oh, I think I these enemies have, like, random levels, so maybe just two level 16s are just hard enough to be unskippable. Yay. I guess it makes sense, but I think Donovan and Sharla are both level 16, so... Well, one of them is. Oh, yeah, it literally says that at the bottom. I shouldn't have to go off of memory, it literally says it at the bottom of the screen. Indeed. Does the blindness persist out of battle? Yes, it does, so I should probably be sure to fix that for Donovan. Let's see, liquid light. There we go. Now I'm here. I ideally like to go to the left and down, but how the fuck do I do that? Like, there's something green and flashy down there, but I don't know how to get there. Maybe down here? No, I mean, that's just the chest from- oh, wait. Oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> there was more than just the chest there. What? I think this is going towards that yellow chest now. I guess we'll keep going and then I'll look for the green thing later. But this is... It's no wonder I couldn't figure out how to get to the yellow box if this is the correct way. Wait, this just took me back to the start. What the fuck? Uh... Back down? 
this level is confusing as all crap, I swear to god. Philipper might have overdone it a bit. Yeah, no kidding. This is probably the worst area in the game so far. I mean, I don't completely hate it, but I can certainly say that on a different day, with a different mood, I would not enjoy this. Today I just seem to be awfully patient for this kind of thing. Let's see, these things, there's really no point in Kenny with physical, if I recall correctly, so, uh, yeah, no. Um, let me double check if that's actually true. They have very high resistance to physical, there is definitely not likely to be very helpful to hit them with that. Uh, I guess just kill Slink, you might as well. Let's see, which of these is most likely to die? The one that's three, probably. That thing is so close to dead. Four. Okay. Again, there's not really a whole lot Bardak can do. I guess just to hell again, Bardak. Oh, there we go. Now I keep getting stuff, at least. Even if this is a bit grindy, thanks to the nature of the fucking dungeon being how it is. So off to the right here, there is the green spot. Now, how the hell do I get to that green? Ah, there we are. Is that another one of those, uh, guys? Looks like it. I probably before those engaging... Those guys. With... Yep, I probably before engaging with it should, uh, make sure I'm in good shape. All my health is pretty good. Mm. Let's see, check inventories here quickly and see who has the most eaters. Charla does. Well, Charla's the person I wanted to drink once, so we'll go with that. I don't think it matters terribly much if Donovan is a 66 and Mardex a 32. That should be manageable, and if not, I can always roll with it in the future. Alright. Trilobite. Oh, this is... Well, I guess it still is a fight. I was gonna say, ah, oh, it's not one of those stranglers or whatever they're called. But, uh... Molesters. Molesters, yes. But this guy still wants to fight, so yeah, sure, we can fight. Ha! I am Trilobite Warrior. Fight me! Oh, Jesus. Well, whatever. We can deal with this. That, honestly, against one character is not enough to kill them, and if it's a one character attack, so be it. Let's see. Weak to air, weak to earth. Well, Charlotte can do the air. I don't know that any of my characters really have an earth-based element. Nothing I can really do with fire, so Donovan should probably take more of a support role. And it seems like... There's not really a huge benefit to uh, physical either. So Donovan and uh, Slank are definitely the less useful characters here in the long run. Seems like this is going to be balanced a lot on Charla's damage. But we'll still try what we can. Okay, so starting off with Charla, obviously I want to get a Lightning Bolt then. Since that's one of the best sources of damage I can get. Let's see. So Donovan, again, should probably be taking more of a support role with items and the like, but I can always hit him with this, and perhaps the poison damage will take effect. Well, not yet, but if I keep trying, eventually it'll get poison. Okay, this guy is... he looks... actually, wait, what is his mana? That's actually pretty considerable mana, but I've not seen him do anything magical yet. Before I start getting into the shields, I'll confirm to myself what he does and just kill Slim. And Slank... Well, we'll try both attacks, but we'll start with his physical. Okay, he does do magic damage. Although, honestly, it's kind of not all that powerful, for being honest. Okay, don't even try poisoning again. Ah, we got it! Okay. Honestly, I think for right this second, I'm happier to just kill everyone. Yeah, that, that was probably the best choice. And Slank, just to see how this fair plans out, try your fire breath. Seems about equally as useful. Oh, Jesus fuck. I think Slank probably needs a shield. Okay, um... Charla, just for right this moment, keep lightning bolting him so he can actually get his health down. Donovan can do the killing here with a better potion. 
that was not very helpful. Marjack. Ugh. Hang on, how many... Uh, Slink can also do something. Okay, so we're gonna stick a magic shield on Slink so he takes less damage. That's kind of scary. And Slink, kill yourself. With any luck with the shield and the plate. Oh, goodness. Well, that was scary. That was definitely scary. Oh, we're gonna keep trying to get it whittle his down. Use better potion on Charlotte. Marduk should magic shield Charlotte as well, so she's less likely to die. And then honestly, I think that since Charlotte's our primary damage dealer here, I should just make sure she's got enough health to survive another attack. Hey, it looks like we're finally starting to get the battle under control a little bit. Hey, Donovan. I guess it's still poisoned. Do I have anything particularly useful here? I got this water. Um, does it take damage to water? No, it's very resistant to water, so that's not very helpful. Okay, um... No one has any bad status effects, either. I think for right this moment... Yeah, just, just hit it with your stick. Okay, Marduk. I guess Marduk probably should... Out of mana. I'm gonna play off the assumption that maybe we're just good at this point. Maybe I won't need any more of Marduk's ability, so we'll attack. Slank, like I'll have a pack as well. Okay, that was a little concerning. I think Charlotte's gotta take a turn off to do the killing win. Okay, Donovan. Well, let's see what happens with Pyromancy. That's acceptable damage. We seem to be mostly in good shape here. Marduk just doesn't really have any mana, so I guess we'll just keep pressing the defensive for now. I'm not sure how well that strategy is going to play out for me in the long term, though. But I'm really wanting to avoid wasting more either, if I can help it. And it seems like, surprisingly, the poison damage is actually doing the most here. Oh, right, because poison damage is Earth Elemental, and he's very weak to that. That makes sense. Ah, I'm making connections. See what I got there. Oh well. You got a stat. Oh nice. I'll have to look and see that. Well done. You have won. You have defeated one of us so far. Keep at it, young man. I will be going now. Good day. Why is this like a hunt them all down kind of thing? Let's see. Staff. Staff. Where is the staff that I got? Did Marduk get that? It doesn't appear Marduk got that. Does Donovan have it? Is it this staff? I think that was there before. Not there. I guess it must be this staff, because I don't see any other staffs. This is attack 24, air elemental. Oh, what I have right now is better, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Hang on, does Charlotte still have any mana left? If so, I should probably do a bit of killing. Oh yeah, substantially enough that I can actually do something about this. 
Okay, so what remains in this room is the stupid chest up top. But presumably to get to that, I'm going to need to be in the upper right anyway. So I might as well honestly leave the room and go get the healing crystal and save. And then come back to try to get the last thing. Because at this point my man is getting so low that I'm not really sure how much more I could do. And I certainly don't want to completely run out of mana. Then I have to start wasting on ethers and... Only get so many of those. Oh, you've been doing a lot of battles. I have. Onyx. Okay, that's not terribly helpful. Let's just focus on one of the monochromes, honestly. I think this is something I've never noticed before, before, but I love just how silly it is that the Onyx has an mm -hmm. Onyx item equipped. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's absolutely fantastic. I don't think I ever noticed that before. That's great. Indeed. I mean, it also tends to drop the Onyx when you kill it, but I just assumed it was dropping itself. There. I, mean, I think a uh, enemy's drop is separate from what they have equipped anyway. Probably. Victory! And I didn't even get an item there, so fair enough. What does this say? 85% full. Okay, so I did have to kill that trilobite guy to get it fuller. Okay, let's wait, see. What, now? what was that? I said, wait, what now? Well, it was at 60% before I went into that room and killed the trilobite. So I assume. Oh, I was that the only thing you did? I mean, I also opened some chests, but besides that, no, I just did a bunch of random battles. Since it says it fills based on enemies, I don't think the chests did it. Okay, hey, back to trying to figure out how to get to this stupid chest. I'm assuming it has to be towards the top of the room. Could you do me a favor, actually? Look up how the fuck to get to that spot, because I'm starting to get a little bit impatient about this. There. I don't want to Let's spoil see. myself to anything by trying to look it up myself. Yep, I'm here, so it's uh, fitting for me to do so. Yep, it's like of the three chests, the one uh, that, it, sorry, four chests, the one that's the furthest north. But like, I've, I've looked all over the fucking place, tried a bunch of paths, whatever it is, it's a relatively unintuitive one. Never mind. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Don't ask me, man. Apparently, it wasn't even a secret path. It was just a path I never walked down somehow. I genuinely yeah, you, don't know. You found it literally right as I, like, got to the page. I know, I don't understand. I was looking for that thing for ages, and the timing on that is so fucking weird. Hey. <sighs> sure. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and save again, because I really don't fucking want to go back to that room again, thank you very much. Well, it's good to know that the wiki has rather detailed maps of the areas. Nice. Not even good screenshots of, like, the map menu thing. Like, they've got the full in-game graphic map. Nice. With well, notes and whatnot. Before I go trying to go south, I think I'll quickly check if both these rooms I have everything in. The answer is, that for the left one, at least, yes. Now we can try the right one. Yeah, I think one. that's where you came from. Oh, that's where I came from? So it's not the straight up? Uh, no, it's the, uh, top left area that you came from. That's very strange, but okie dokie. Not only knows for sure, by seeing the map. But, you would have known if, uh, we continued this immediately after, you know, last time, so... Fair. Might as well say what you already would have done. That is a fair point. I guess that also explains why the room wasn't dark. Really? Uh, uh, I didn't think they'd actually be able to wear me down. I wasn't paying any attention to my health there. I thought it was ludicrous to think that they'd kill me. So, does the save crystal revive me, or do I just have to waste a phoenix down? The save crystal revive you. Okay. 
actually wait. I Get actually back. that's not even necessary, but I still would rather use the save crystal and just not. Yeah, you have to waste mana anyway. Yeah, and it's right here. That was fucking stupid. All right, let's try go, going straight up then, since I know this is also a path. This goes somewhere. There's a green thing up here. Oh, hey, it's another Snatcher. Right, well, sure, we can fight you. We are very fresh off the save crystal. All right, so let's see. If I recall correctly, uh, yeah, basically I can hit this thing with anything. Oh, wow, it just went straight for its physical pack immediately. That's weird. Usually it does its mana stuff first. Was that a physical thing? Yeah, it just struck out. Maybe not, but it has 70 well, it of 80. Mana. Yeah, I guess it did cost it mana. That's unusual. Uh, yeah, I think it's a melee. It just stays flat. Fair. I think I'll just kill Donovan for right this moment. Like the Charlotte Slent, thanks to their defense stuff, just didn't matter very much. Okay, let's see. I guess continue to kill. Considering I just got off the save crystal, this guy is not particularly frightening. Charla's got a curse now I have to deal with. And Marduk's pretty low in health. I might uh, have Donovan take care of the curse here. And then Marduk, I guess just kill yourself. Slink can do fire breath. And I think I'll have Charla just tidy this up with health. So whatever you want to do now. Alright, that's got us back in fairly decent shape. Okay, Marduk, I guess Phil Donovan. And Slink can use... I guess we'll try the axe. Ooh, that's actually much better than the dragon pack for this. I like how he didn't even really do enough damage that turn that I should care, frankly. Almost dead. Yeah, that was a bit more damage, but frankly I could probably finish him off before even worrying about that. Then I could just use a save crystal again. Yeah, there we go. Nice. See, those are getting easier with each one. Which I guess is how leveling works. Okay, let's go get my stats back up, and then we can see what's above that. Okay. Another room. And this is a another room with a save crystal. That's weird. But I can only assume that why the save crystal is here is to indicate that if I proceed, I'm gonna fight a boss. Donovan. Is this some kind of- uh, some sort of dog? Um, it's more like a wolf. A shiny golden wolf. And it's hurt. Let's cure it. But what if it is an evil monster? He doesn't look like a monster. He's far too adorable. This is stupid. It's going to be a monster. Killing win. Wine, says Dog Solar. There you go, Mr. Wolfie. You're all better now. You can go on your way again. Wine, wine, the crystal dough. Why can all the monster animal things around here talk? It blows my mind. Actually, do you just want to voice the wolf thing so that you have something to voice? Uh... <laughs> I, I, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a hard character to voice. Fair, honestly, I don't even know. I, what I mean, you should look at this dialogue. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I'm not even sure what kind of a voice uh, 
to give this being, frankly. Uh, there, honestly. Hmm. Like, I, I kind of can picture in my head what might be done with something that looks like this in, like, a fantasy movie, but I cannot modulate my voice, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll just go for something sort of weird and si slightly creepy. That dark fellow, he went in there, the crystal room. I fell in my duty. All these years wait to pair him for this moment, and I fail in... Now all that was seen to happen will happen. Well, what are you talking about? I am the guardian of the dark crystal. Yes, that. A dark fellow came to take the crystal earlier, and I challenged Rose him, as is the guardian's duty. But he defoted me, so the crystal is his now. It's it there, I think. But this can't happen. No, no. All chaos will break loose if he's allowed to keep that. It's evil. Vilius, not for him. He'll use it to be a villain and all that. Your light, why are you here? Well, we're here to stop that guy, says Bardek with a big grin. Yeah. Great. Convenientious. A group against one will stand more of a chance than I did alone. Help me for Yalot's yeah, sake. It's imperative. Please, we need him to be stopped now, now. Come with me into this room and we'll fight him away. I'm joining you or you're joining me. Please, please. Well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but okay, sounds urgent. Now it really is your turn. I need to get accustomed to this font again. Yeah, but is that a Y or a U? I'm pretty sure it's a U. I would hope that would be a very strange word choice for the creator. Yeah, it, it, it's word. certainly a U. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably something like R O N. God, it's been a while since I've done the voice. An R O N here. That that's not. That that's all that needs to be said, apparently. Oh. I see, that was literally just where that was. And, uh, we forgot to add any more party members. How do I adjust that? Uh, you can do it for the safe crystal. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I see, it's a mouse thing. Boop. You gotta put your party members in your inventory. Yeah, I see. Oop. Like, I can't remove this creature. Alright, fair. Uh, I guess for now, sure. I still wanted to check stuff back down here real quick, so I suppose we'll do that before we continue. Like, I did not expect that to be forward. I expected that just to be another room. Which I suppose, based on the symmetry of the room, I should have expected otherwise, but, you know, whatever. First things first, did I get everything on this side? The answer is yes, that's everything over here. So that just leaves down. I might have enough for the chalice now, since I've defeated one more of the molesters. And there's always the southern end of the room, too. 88% full. Wow, that actually did not bump it up very much at all. Let's see what's down. Another room, another person. It's go. Alright, you're doing this one. <laughs> Did I voice this guy? No, but I'm making you do it now. I don't think we've ever seen this guy before. Yeah, we have. We have? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't remember him in the slightest, frankly. So I wouldn't He's even... the uh, bandit guy from the uh, previous oh. chapter. He was fair. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I would definitely not know what voice I gave this guy. I mean, probably some Fair. sort of dopey sounding voice if I did voice him. Well, it's up to you. I can give it a shot, or you can give it a shot. Eh, you voice most of the characters. I'll go ahead and take him. Eh. So this is like some kind of dark elder temple of doom sealed off from the world for like ever? Spooky. I, oh god, I have to figure out how to like to pronounce these apostrophes. How did I get, get the deer? God, I don't know what fucking accent to give this guy. <laughs> Indeed. How would I get in the ear? I have my ways. I used to be a bandit, you know. Well, you do know, yeah? 
I used I learned some useful skills from that. I can say that at least. How is that apostrophe supposed to be replacing an A? Very good question. Want to see me wear it, friend? Oh, thank God, there's a shop in the dungeon. This is gonna make life easier. Boop, ba, doo, ba, boop, ba, ba, doo, ba, 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 ba. Anyway, let's see. So we got Marduk. So the big thing right this moment is I just want to replace a lot of the better potions because currently I kind of don't have very many of them, and that's not better. That's worse. Hang on. By the way, I will mention that from uh, Save Crystals, you can uh, manage your items, I think. So you could take uh, useful, like, consumable items off of uh, however you pronounce his name if you want to. The consumable item. Oh, yeah, Slank. That makes Slank. sense. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea how to say his name. Yeah, neither do I. I know how to say a lot of things right. in this game. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What the fuck does Fig Juice do? Or stores 2,000 HP. Jesus. How much does this do again? 200. Ugh. Yeah, I, I guess I can sort of see why this exists at this point, but I think this is something to start buying probably next shop, not this one. I can buy ethers. Let's get everybody up to four. I don't even know what this weird dog thing does, but whatever. Let's see. Guy. Fair, I suppose I could. He's got a claw weapon. Okay. Does M damage and query undead. Effective against undead. Cool. There's these remedies which uh, get rid of any status effects, but I should probably just move stuff from the other character over to this one. Um. And then lastly, there's Phoenix Downs. Let me see how my Phoenix Downs are distributed. I'll get Donovan a couple more of these. And I probably should buy Solar some in the first place. Also, I just realized that I'm going to have to actually do that voice regularly for this character, because this character appears more than once. <laughs> uh, Fair, you don't have to do that specific voice. We'll see. It's not a hard voice to do, but it will probably be a hard one to remember to do. Elixir. Okay, so it's everything all at once. That sounds like a very good late game item, but I don't think we're at the point where that's actually all that worthwhile to spend 9,999 gold on it. That's a lot. We have these bangles. There's a lot of good stuff to do with resisting earth and vitality and health. That's a very good item. Same with the sapphire. I, mean, I feel like this is more of a thing to take note of existing and come back for later. You mentioned something about the save point. I could get stuff off the other character, so I'll go do that. Yep. Well, I guess we get a battle before doing that. I guess I can figure out what Solar does in the meantime. So he's light elemental creature. He's got just an attack. He also has astral magic. So we have a small localized sun flare which inflicts light of elemental damage. That seems useful considering literally everything in this fucking dungeon does is dark. Sunbeam, that hills, and we have bright light girls target back into consciousness reviving them. Hmm. Honestly, this feels like it's similar enough to what Sharla does. I might honestly think about having Slug back in the party and drop Sharla off. Because this is not all that terribly unlike how I used Charlotte to begin with. Huh. I guess I probably should have checked if these things were actually... Wait, they are weak to light. Why did that do no damage? I'm confused. Uh, there's probably some stat there that explains it. Fair. Maybe they just have really high magic defense. I genuinely never was able to tell. Fair. 
Yeah, I think it's magic defense because they seem to be taking a lot of damage to physical. Or at least some damage to physical. Bardak seems to be able to hit them pretty hard. Like, that's a lot of damage from a Bardak. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's continue upwards. Get the save crystal, and then we can do some adjustments. Switch party members. Okay, I so... Think... Oh, wait, if I Maybe switch... item storage does it? I don't actually know if, uh... If yeah, actually... Or not. Yeah, actually, hang on a second. Since I've decided how I'm going to do this, let's actually, uh... Move... Wait, what? Why... You don't want to use move? the item on... Oh, how do I move stuff, then? Uh, if you jump and down arrow keys. Thank goodness they're next to each other. Um, antidote. Man of motion potion. Holy water. Liquid sound. Phoenix sound. Balloon juice. Mirror elixir. Drinking gifts. Okay, sure, I'll move that too, I guess. Really cold water. Remedy. Sure, noxious bomb. Honestly, some of these things I want to get, I gotta want to sell. So I guess for the sake of making my life easier, we'll just move all this off. Oops, confusing myself there. Okay, Charla's dead. Oh right, but there's also these items. Maybe I should get them weird animal thing, the black hat. Okay, you can't put the robe. Well, for right this moment, that's fine. Okay, switch party members. We're gonna pull Charla off, and we're gonna add Sled in. I want the order to look more like that, though. And then we can go back to the inventory, Fair. and we can check on... Uh, like, okay, that seems fine. Oh, right, and if I'm going to be playing as this character, I should probably check out their skill stuff. Query Undead. Let's check both of those, and that, and that, and that. Okay. But this creature doesn't have any armor. Can I equip this robe? No, I cannot. Is it just the fact that I it's... I think those are human clothes. Do dog clothes exist? I don't think so. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm forced to use this character at the moment, so I guess I'll just have to roll with it. Let's save again, since I've made some adjustments. We'll do it at a new slot, because otherwise it's going to be difficult to undo if it becomes necessary to do so. Hey, right. now- oh, God damn it! I hit the wrong button. We still have another thing at the bottom of the room to look at. It certainly was nice to put a shop in this dungeon, considering how damn long it is. It would have been very annoying walking all the way back to town. Because I seem to have a sure. correct collection of that being a ways away. And fun fact, if you chose to uh, kill Gop the Bandit, then you would not appear as a uh, seller. Oh wow, that definitely has an impact on the game. It's a locked type, but there's a keyhole. With the right key, you should be able to get through. God damn it. Walked all the way down here for that. Oh well, but at wow. least that tells me there's only one direction to go at this point. Which is nice, because this place is such a maze that uh, there's been so many options for such a long time. It's nice to be down to just one again. Let's get some health back. Don't really need to save, though. So, uh, real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I uh, give a semi-spoilery tip if it will save you a lot of time and annoyance? Yeah, go for it. You probably want to get the chalice now. I want to get the chalice now. Uh, yeah, but, the thing where you have to defeat a certain number of monsters. Is it literally just defeat monsters? I assumed it was defeat many bosses in the dungeon, but I've done all of those, so I assume straight. Oh no, it just 
you know, enemy. Alright. Is it any enemies, or is it specific enemies? Any enemies. Alright, cool. Let's just do the back of forts, then grind time. I want to do it next to the chalice so you can see when it's available. That's a good point. I can always come back up here if I need to reset my mana or health. I'm gonna guess it's one battle per one point, so I probably need to do 11 more after this. Or somewhere around that. Not entirely sure. I mean, you got like an extra... What was it, like 5% or so, when all you did was like fight one random encounter and fight the Trilobite Warrior? Also, I did not need to skip that. 95, okay, so at worst it's five more random battles. We can totally do that. Ring around the rosy. Oh, for fuck's sake, Peter, don't <laughs> skip things. those. Those are probably the best ones, too, because they're the, gonna be the easiest ones. Yeah, just keep your hand off of the uh, best side of the keyboard. Yeah, I will do that. Cool. Okay, so we got a bunch of these bastards. Let's try out the Solar Flare now. Ooh, it only targets one, though. Oh well, I could probably kill one of them. Let's use it on the highest health. Ooh, instant kill. That's that's actually pretty good. Damn. Let's go for the weakest here. Oh, they're all the weakest. That was a big rock, but it didn't do much. Okay, just one monochrome left. Might as well solar flare it, since I know that insta kills them. I'm assuming the boss in this dungeon will be Dark Element, so that is going to be super helpful. Check the, uh, balance. Mm -hmm. 99. Okay, one. so it is per monster. Really? I would have thought for sure it would have been full by now. It feels like I've killed, like, 300 things in here at this point. But I guess I'm probably... There, but it's definitely not. Okay, so this battle should be enough, then. I'm glad you semi-spoilery DVD. Oh, instant kill on the Dark Elemental. Very nice. So yeah, thanks, Grayson, genuinely. Yeah. Later I will get into the details of why I figured you should do that. Yep. Okie dokie. I can get it. Excellent, let's go save and then we'll sort it out. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so presumably Marduk has this now? I'm not seeing it. It's a plot oh, item. Oh. Wait, how do I get the plot items? Oh, plot Blood items. West. Uh, let's see. Morik Soul Jewel. Sand Fruit. Talpita Shumbra. Oh, it's here. A rather morbid ancient artifact. Filled to the brim with the essence of monsters. It exudes a sense of dread. Okay, right, so presumably it is something I'm going to need just to move the story forward then. Oh, I didn't want to hit that. Oh well. Hey. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what happens next. I have a feeling that we're about to actually get to something that's plot relevant. But first, save yeah, closer. Save so I don't crystal. Have to talk. Yeah, the save crystal is plot relevant. Hey. Right. Mystery man. You want to do a new voice, Grayson? No. Hey, fair enough. I'll do the voice. Ha, huh, finally. This little baby's what I need. I do like to brag, and my power now is pretty damned awesome enough. But this crystal here will boost my power even more. Then I'll have it all. Stop, evildoer. Again. That sounds like that sissy-ass dog I just killed. You wanna die again, dog? No problem. I'd enjoy your pain. You? Damn it all hell. What the profanity are you doing here? I like the what the profanity. That's fantastic. Yeah. What, me? Do I know who you are? I don't know anyone with an eye patch. No, Marte. He's clearly a complete stranger who you've never seen before. A mystery villain, you know? Oh, okay. Man, he bought that fast. <laughs> well, I don't know you, person. 
I know this dog wants to stop you, and I listen to what dogs tell me to kill when dogs tell me to kill dark people. <laughs> so we'll fight you, and we'll win that fight, which is against you, which means that you will not win, and you'll maybe cry at things. Oh my god, the writing in this game. I forgot how ridiculous it is. It's so good. That's your taunt? Damn. That's just profanity. It was not profanity at all. Anyways, I have this awesome ass dark crystal on my side. What do you lame wads have? Shite dog and some helmets and long hair? Ha! The crystal is you, not yours for the taking. Please, if that crystal leaves here, then the entire universe is a doom of pure chaos. We will all be perished, including, including Katie yourself. So what? I want everything to die, damn it. For Fanny at all, I say. It's not like anything deserves to live in my universe. So that may be hot, chicks, but I take the way they're talking. I'd survive it all anyways, dog. I'm just that awesome. Man, I gave him, like, the perfect voice. He really is that big of a douchebag. Indeed. No, you won't survive any longer than this, dog, and deplorably despicable foe. You absolutariously cannot be allowed to leave here. And we'll make it for sure now. I will be a guardian at you again now. Come on, then, bitches. Bring it on. Okay, so we got this guy, Mystery Man. He's a human, unsurprisingly. He's got a lot of health, decent amount of mana. Okay, he's got this night, night jacket. Bring a three, yellow fairy. What the fuck is a yellow fairy? Anyway, uh, let's see. He's vaguely weak to light, which is unfortunate since I got the dog and not Charla, despite the fact that he's very weak to air, but... Oh well, if I die, I might swap the party around. Everything else is kind of neither give nor take. 20 defense is not enough that I really care. He has no defense against, uh, like, um, physical in particular, so I should be plenty fine to go after him with physical attacks. This guy looks like he's probably going to do a lot of physical attacks, so I'm probably going to start more with shield than magic shield. And if I need to adjust, so be it. Let's open with Stellar just doing, you know, the Solar Flare. Decent damage. Used a Mirror Elixir, so now he's got a shield. Which is unfortunate, but uh, something I have to work with. Honestly, it might be worth me trying right off the bat to get him poisoned, so there's just that extra little bit of damage hitting him every turn. Hey, that's not bad damage even then, though. Okay, so he does look like he's more interested in doing physical damage, so yeah, let's definitely do a shield. Since Donovan's already taken a decent amount of damage, he feels like a good person to start with. Oh man, this guy gets frequent moves. I'm definitely gonna have to be mindful of that. Hmm. Alright, Slent. I guess just do Fire Breath for now. Oh, wait, what? He got it. I thought the order said that he wasn't about to get a move. Does he just have, like, counterattack, or is the turn order not to be trusted here? Is the question. Oh, well. For now, Pleasant Sunbeam does the belly, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, that's not great. How okay. annoying. Yep. Remedy. Remedy should do everything. Okay, yep, that fixed everything up quite well. Let's get another shield up here before there's any more problems. Uh, who's the squishiest? I got Solar is really in a bit of danger here. Nice, a miss. Definitely what we need. So it looks like Slug is currently, uh, yeah, he's currently silenced. Fine, the, the attack will work just fine anyway. Back to 365 damage, so yeah, definitely. I don't think I need to heal that right away. Instead, let's get another Solar Flare off. Okay. So Donovan probably needs to heal at this point. I'll let, uh... Honestly, I might just let him heal himself. Okay, Marduk, get another shield up. I guess do it on yourself. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of damage to Solar. I'm glad I put the shield up, or Solar would be very dead. Because I don't know how this guy operates, it's probably my best interest to go ahead and use a better potion on Solar right away, just in case. 
and unfortunately, technically, Solar could still die, so... Okay, so we are back to Donna then. I guess just keep trying to poison him. Excellent, there we go. Donovan is stunned. I don't remember what stun does in this game. Does it just like make it so that Donovan can't move or attack or something? This is a I to check. Yeah, I'm not good at the area. I don't remember. I think the loom juice is for that. I was either sometimes miss parents. Okay, fair. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's paralysis. Right. Same thing. Not. Yeah, same thing. Okay. okay, good. And yeah, the poison was a good idea. It seems like it actually does a fairly significant amount of damage to him each turn, so... I'm glad I inflicted that. Next time for a solar flare. Ah, oh, got that. That again. Joy, now Donovan's kind of screwed up. Do I have another remedy lying around? Quite a few, in fact. Okay, get that before Donovan hurts himself. Okay, no new status effects. We're in fairly good shape. Slent can probably survive another hit. I'd say I'm good to go all out at this point. <laughs> yep, but now Slent needs to help. Yeah, I guess I probably can't really risk it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Bardak, you're still on remedy duty, I guess. It's just a matter of time before he's dead, though. Eh, yeah, bad choice, dude. You should have held there. There we go. Not too bad, that was actually pretty reasonable for a boss fight. Profanity! I just... I wasn't paying attention, that's all. You losers just got lucky. Lucky that I don't get how to use this profanity in Crystal against ya. Yet. But next time, next time, damn it, I'll make sure you suffer long and hard. You've done nothing to stop me anyways. I have the crystal now, and it just so happens I came with one of these pretty babies. A warp stone? And he took the dark crystal too? No. <coughs> no. This, this is wrong. Bad, bad, very bad, bad. Rowl. My duty, I have failed. But, but, I need to chase Sue him. I can't end here. I check wallow in misery, I'll give chase, and try to, to not fail my mission. Well, we were probably gonna go after him also, maybe. Yes, brilliant, terrific. Together we are known stronger than he, so together we must travel to end him, and signify all things, to save order. Yes, yes, let me come up to me along with you. My god, that's quite the word, come up to me. You want to come with us? Okay, I like dogs, but who are you called? I'm Calm Solar. I'm the Dark Crystal Guardian of Celestial Vergar. What's one of those? It's a Celestial Vergar, that's all that matters. So basically don't question it. Anyway, we must give chase post haste. Chop chop immediate to I feel that is in the best interests of the entire world if I help you. I do not delight in the thought of visiting human lands and working closely with and around humans, but my personal feelings must be put aside for the good of the world. Well, I'll warp us out, but we really need to talk to our king first. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> we don't know where that eye patch stranger man went anyway, so we can't rush into things blindly. You make a good point. Very well. I shall accompany you wherever until we find him. But we must look into any signs of his activian activi activities the very nanosecond they arise. My god, these made-up words are confusing the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, now, war! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Here it is time again. 
Majestic King of mine, of ours, we're back from our mission. You don't mission. have to do the voice, you know. Oh wait, he's been taken over by the the spirit creature thing. So that that's that's good. Except I don't remember which of them it was again. So I don't know what the voice I'm supposed to do is. Unfortunately, do you remember which one it was, Grayson? Uh, which one? What now? Which of the so which which of the council of you know uh, whatever. Well, I kind of remember their names. Yeah, unfortunately. Just, just what's, what's I do remember color? they're called the Governance of the Mandates. Yeah, which, which one of the governments are we looking at? What colored one? Oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to assume that this is sort of the one that's sort of sing-songy, because I seem to recall that might be the case anyway. And oh, thank no, God... It's, uh look at the wiki, I think it's the, uh, Walnut guy? Walnut. 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 Okay, what color is Walnut? Uh, red? But he's not the fire one, because that was the orange one. Yeah, and the orange one, if I recall right, was the one that was, like, the one that was all choleric and crazy, so this is probably less so. I, I, I don't remember. Someone is probably going to be going through the series and be very confused by whatever I choose to go with. But, uh, you know, actually, you know, this character's masquerading as the king, so I can just pretend that the fact that they're being the king means that their new voice is somewhere between the kings and whatever their old voice was, so I can just make something new up and I don't have to worry about it from a plot perspective. Yes, we'll do that. Whatever excuse it takes you to realize you don't have to do the voice. Indeed. Well, I'm not doing the king voice, because this king is being possessed, so uh, therefore I don't need to do the king voice. Good. That's that's grand. Oh, so grand. I am the king. Yes, the king of you, of, of this filthy human place. It's great to be a king. You don't sound anything like the king at all. I? That is your human king. Have one of your puny human diseases that you get all the time. What with your fragile and stupid bodies, which are stupid, and it's affecting my voice. Is, is it fatal? Ah, uh, poor naive Charla. It will be for you if you don't zip it, eh? Now, uh, refresh an old king's memory and tell this king that that is me, your king, exactly who you people are and what you're on about. Something's odd here, Marta. I sense things again. Not that my magical senses are necessary to see through an Axo 4. Yeah, no kidding. I am Mardek, my liege, your trusted royal knight. I just got back from the mission to the Sun Temple that you sent me on. Oh, poor naive Mardek. We found that monsters were coming from the Dark Temple, which was broken into by a strange eyepatch man who was looking for the Dark Crystal. The Dark Crystal, you say. Oh, ho ho. Did you bring it back to me, your king? Well, we didn't, my leash. No, the eye patch mystery man took him. Damn it! That could have given me such power, too. Majesty? I mean, uh, that crystal would have been sa much safer in my kingly hands. Yes, I could watch over it to make sure no evil villains took it, because I am noble. Good! Human king person. Watch it with your obviously glowing pink eyes, you mean. Hey! There's an idea. Chum slaves! Minions! Whatever! I have a job that I, your king, want you to do for me. Since I think that's your job, to do the bidding of me, your king, I suppose you have to do anything I say, right? We will obey your commands, my leash. Oh, I like that. Hee <laughs> It's nice. I can so surely make you fight to your deaths for my amusement, forsooth. As it is, though, I want you to collect the elemental crystals of this planet and bring them to me. Uh, me, your king, which I certainly am, and I'm not an imposter. Wait, do kings refer to themselves as we? I think they do. Anyway, yes, we want you to retrieve those magical sparkly crystals, so then I, I mean we, can defend them from evil. They're unsafe being kept in, uh, wherever they are. Do you know where they are? Let's hope. We could find out where they are. Jolly Brill, do that then. We'll be here waiting patiently, sitting in our big fancy throne that belongs to us. Or should that be we? You're human king, which is exactly what I am. We are, yes. 
Now go away. Shoo. Uh, thou art dismissed, and etc. Well, I'm excited about this new mission, says naive Mardek. Uh, Mardek, didn't you notice something a bit odd about the king back there? Well, it looked like he hadn't brushed his hair in the morning at all. I'd expect a monarch to put more care into his appearance. Uh, no. What I mean is that he seemed like a different person, an imposter or something. I mean, his eyes were glowing bright pink, and he had no idea he should talk and acted like he's never acted before. It was so obvious. I believe that you are right, Donovan, and I think I know exactly what's going on, too. Something I've been expecting for three years. Bah, here I was, hoping that they'd give it up after Morak failed so badly. Uh, Mardek, now you sound like an imposter. But I'm clearly not, because my eyes aren't glowing white at all, you see. I can't see your eyes. Convenient, I know. Anyway, the king needs to be stopped. We should go in there and deal with him now. No, we can't. Even if he is an imposter, we have to be careful, because people would think that we killed the real king. The guards would attack us, and even they, if they didn't kill us, then the whole world would hate us. We'd be reduced to fugitives. But what if we could find the real king and prove that we were doing that what we were doing was right? Before I even continue the next line of dialogue, I find it interesting that Roaf is going in this direction, considering the fact that he is literally possessing Mardak. What is to stop it from being that the real king is literally right up there and he's just being possessed? Oh well. It's a bit of a gamble. He could be dead and disposed of. So, uh, what are we going to do? I think we should just do as we're told and get the other crystals. Forgive me for ambling into this, but are you non sane? Only someone with megalomaniacal aims would be attempting to gather all attemptifying to gather all of the elemental crystals of the world. We should not help that creature in his schemes. However, it could be wise to gather the crystals and keep them to ourselves. Apparently a little bit of um a little bit of the other guy's voice snuck into Solar there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We keep them to ourselves, with no intentions of pawning them over to he. We could action under the guise of his minions, so then we do not attract the by unwanted resistantation from him or his true lackeys. So many voices, it's hard to keep track of them all. That sounds like the best idea. We should act fast too, or else he might send others to procure, procure them for him. Alright, I agree with that. We'll find them and keep them for ourselves until we can find the real king, and all this is blown over. So let's go. Um, wait, where are the crystals? I'm not sure. I've only ever heard vague rumors. We reptoids of Zanatusha once knew their locations, but it is sad. It is said that they were moved after our ancient writings were written, so my knowledge would be unreliable. Well, let's just try asking around. And again, I have a party, but what I want to do now is find a save crystal, because I'd say this is a good place to stop. We finally finished that part of the, uh, that part of the game. I need the last one at the bottom. Uh, fair. Yeah, you save crystal. Well, right. that didn't go too terribly bad, considering the fact that uh, it has been an exceedingly long time since I last played this game. True. Like, I'd say back, if uh, we do this again soon, then uh, I won't have to remind you very much of anything at all. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of astonishing that the last time we played this was the 30th of December, and I actually remembered enough to uh, make do for the most part. True. Good lord. Well... That oh yeah, I did nice. say that uh, I would tell you why you had to get the uh, jealous thing. Mm -hmm. Because, Oops. first of all, you can imagine that it would be annoying to go all the way back there. Yeah, I can definitely see that, and presumably I'm going to need it. So, yeah. Hooray. Well, that I won't get into detail about, but, mm -hmm. you know, the other reason it would be annoying and take a long time is because... Even if you did go all the way back there, the encounter rate has been drastically reduced post-boss oh. battle. Interesting. You would be grinding a lot longer, which I suppose wouldn't be terrible given how close you already were, but would have taken several times as long. 
Yeah, it's helpful that I got stupidly lost trying to find the chests in that one room, so I ended up encountering a lot of enemies and really wearing that number down a bit. Ironically, I was thinking here that I was sitting around wasting a lot of time in that dungeon, and it turns out that no, you, the whole time you were probably aware of the fact that everything I was doing was helpful. Yeah, yeah. Even, even when, when you, you like, like missed you, the uh, button to press like Z to skip the battle, I was like, well, that gets him closer. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, everything. I didn't I want to say anything on the off chance that you happened to get enough battles before actually going through the boss, but you didn't, so I figured yeah. I need to tell you. Yeah, I genuinely, I had convinced myself that it was based off of killing the mini-bosses, not killing the actual enemies, and I'd assumed that I would have to kill the boss at the top end of the room, what would end up being the Mystery Man, to get to 100%. The Mystery Man would also drop a key, and then I could get the Chalice, which I would need to be defeat the actual final boss at the southern end of the dungeon. Which, come to think of it, I never did get said key. So that means that that is related to something else. Either later on in the story, we'll get a key and have to come back there, or that's a secret area that I'll have to get a key to unlock somehow to come back to later for, you know, secret loot and the like. Either way, there's still that at the bottom of the dungeon to see at some point. But yeah. I would just be silent to not tell you either way, but I actually also genuinely don't remember. Ah, fair, fair. Well, I could genuinely say either way. You probably should have just uh, let me have a long pause there, but no matter. <laughs> there, I didn't know what to say, though. Understandable. Uh, one question I do suppose that I have. Mm -hmm. It has been a long time, so you've probably forgotten a number of uh, details about the story, yeah? Mm -hmm. I would argue that the chance of that is probably yes. I mean, I'd say I probably remember most of what happened in Chapter 2, but uh, possibly I'm forgetting something. Hard to say, really. Did the uh, Mystery Man really not look familiar? I mean, if I were to take a stab in the dark, maybe he's one of the four heroes that kept pestering us every once in a while back in Chapter 2, but that's the best guess I've got. No, you want me to just tell you? Because it's pretty obvious. If you played this game, like, you know, relatively quickly, you would have got onto it. Yeah, probably is best to do so, because I don't think I'm supposed to be Marduk in this case, just oblivious to it. This is not supposed to be a twist. Yeah, especially since they're like, oh, hi, complete stranger who I've never seen before. Fair. Which I genuinely just thought was this game being this game. The dialogue of this game could be ridiculous at times. But yeah, no, this character does not look familiar. There. But uh, remember the uh, cast of characters who went on the uh, mission to stop the bandits at the start of Chapter 1? Vaguely. Oh god, was it the bastard that died? It was Steel. Oh my god, he's still alive. That's incredible. Yeah, he's literally just the Steel Sprite, but with like a scar and an eye patch. I must say the ironic thing is, is that now that you tell me that, I'm like... 90% sure I actually did a relatively similar voice for Still back in Chapter yeah, 1. Yeah, for a moment I thought you genuinely knew who it was. It's Until you were like, oh, I gave him a fitting voice, so I was like, it's the same voice you gave him before. I don't know, I think that to me, just when I think douchebag, my brain, it, for whatever reason, tries to take just, like, your typical, like, full of himself person, like, with a bunch of narcissism that you'd see, and for some reason throws a little bit of Patrick Warburton in there. I don't know why that's my go-to for that, especially since Patrick Warburton usually plays really cool characters like Kronk, who is absolutely not an asshole, but that seems to be where my brain goes when I'm trying to come up with asshole character. Give them the edge of, like, some frat boy, and then throw a little Patrick Warburton in. There. And again, yeah, I recognize that's not supposed that that's... to be a twist at all. What was that? But yeah, it's not supposed to be a twist at all. Fair. But yeah, that's the funny thing about a lot of my voices also, is that I have in my mind a sense of what they sound like, but it probably comes out completely different to everybody else. <laughs> Which is fine. Like, it doesn't have to sound the same to other people as it does to me, so long as it roughly is in the ballpark of what I'm looking for. Fair. Yeah. Uh, 
But I do only have so many voices, and sometimes they do start to merge together, like I did have a bit of an issue there with, uh, the one guy I've given some sort of a weird pseudo-French accent starting to bleed into some of the other characters there, since they were all talking so much back and forth. There. Also, it's funny, the, uh, Solar character. Mm -hmm. Definitely not the voice I would have imagined for the character, but... Yeah. so weirdly that I can't say that you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that one of the problems here is is that I mischaracterized what exactly it was that we were looking at. I do think it actually still does work, and so I'm gonna roll with it, but I honestly was expecting more of, like, a golem-type creature, some sort of weird, decrepit thing that lives in this dark place that honestly is kind of untrustworthy and is sort of tricking the party, and is pretty much only being held on by shreds of magic. I did not realize that we were looking at, like, a holy guardian, which makes it all the more ironic what I ended up doing. There. But, you know, so be it. The voice still works, sort of. I mean, who am I to say what a dog creature would sound like if it were to speak English? Yeah, I absolutely imagine, like, a very sanguine type voice, but, uh, Given yeah, just how weird the character speaks in general, I think just about any voice could work. Yeah, I'm not even entirely sure exactly what my voice is supposed to be. Maybe more on the lines of a melancholic character? I'm, I'm honestly not entirely certain. There. Well, uh, he is light element, and <laughs> that's one of the ones that aren't based on the four temperaments. Fair. But who's to say? Yeah, who really is to say? It is a being that lies outside of that gradient. Indeed. Which I and you can just basically fit into any of them, depending on the character. Exactly. Anyway, so yeah. Thank you everybody for joining us for Mardek. It has been a very, very long time, and it's definitely nice coming back to this game. A little bit of a flashback to 2021. Anyway. Indeed. Yeah. I should also comment on, because like, anyone watching wouldn't know this, We've been talking about doing more Bardic for goddamn ever. It's just that it take, took this long because we never got around to it. Yeah, I know, right? Like, it's it's been such a such a long time. <sighs> anyway, that yeah. is. Wish the future level.